created Scrum to help teams function a lot better in software development. One of the problems in software development is projects are always late and developers are under pressure. And the question was, could we build a high-performing team like a sports team where they could execute five to ten times faster than a normal team? And based on a lot of experience with Silicon Valley teams and uh, experience I've had in many companies, we figured out how to do that. So for example, my last company, we started doing Scrum in 2000. We built the teams, they're working together. It took, uh, teams when they're starting off can very quickly start working together, maybe going twice as fast. Uh, and then as they get their engineering practices really working well, their velocity will accelerate. Uh, by 2005, uh, my last company had reached a state where they were running 10 times as fast as one of our outsourced waterfall teams in India. So it would cost us three times as much to get software developed in India as it would do it, to do it right here in Boston. Uh, that allowed us to, uh, we had a meeting every week where the chief product owner in Scrum, who was, my, who was working the backlog and the direction of the company, he could meet with all the stakeholders and decide, okay, this week, what are the key issues? What are the issues with the teams? What are the issues of the market? What are the sales guys seeing? And he could change the backlog. So the next two weeks, they were adjusting uh, the direction of the technology development. And two weeks later, they could have a new release of the software to target directly the competition. So. Uh, as, as Scott Maxwell here at Open Your Venture Partners points out, he likes the idea, you know, you line up the cannon and boom, <laughs> you take care of that part of the competition. Then two weeks le later, you move in the cannon and boom. So with that speed and performance, and to get that speed, the teams have to be really excited and enthusiastic. You can't do it by forcing it. Uh, so they really have to learn how to work together, get the engineering practices really good, and then they could go f uh, very fast. Uh, the typical uh, traditional product development team in the space of my last company was doing two, re two releases a year, one release every six months. Uh, as they hit their peak of performance in 2005, they were doing 45 releases a year. When you are doing 45 releases and your competition can only do two, it is game over. We had no more competition. So that's, the, that's one of the goals of Scrum from the point of view of the business side.